His legacy is in the modest things around us. Sir Terence Conran is credited with bringing stylish and useful home decor to the mass market. He did this from the early 1940s, making his furniture first by hand before factory producing and innovating flat-packed goods. In the 1980s, he founded the Design Museum in a converted banana warehouse on the London South Bank, a space for the design community to be represented now here in Kensington. Terence had an unquenching optimism. He always believed that you could find something to do things better. He really believed that design could make everyday life just a bit nicer, just a bit pleasanter, and he really wanted to share that with everyone. At last, London Sunshine joined in the welcome to the royal visitors as they arrived at the South Bank site of the Festival of Britain. Sir Terence would say his greatest moments were what he designed at the Festival of Britain in 1951. To me, the Festival of Britain was the pivotal changing point when we understood how important design is to our nation, both from a cultural point of view and also from an economic point of view. Born in 1931 in Kingston-upon-Thames, Sir Terence studied textile design. He opened more than 50 restaurants across the country and in 1964 launched the home furniture brand Habitat. The company went on to incorporate other household brands including Mothercare and British Home Stores. His ideas weren't just modest but they survived and inspired decades of changing trends. He was largely responsible after Habitat for creating the, the modern chains in the beginning of that. You know. Um, and he did, he created quite an empire post the Habitat period. It was quite unique, and that was, that was something he was 60 years old. It was not a young man to go again, you know, after creating that one empire, he created another. He may not have been a household name for many, but Sir Terence leaves behind an enormous legacy of household design. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News.